Able to shift the weight is TJP. Takes control of the back, sends Rohit into the ropes. Rohit ducks the clothesline. TJ put his head down, sunset flip. TJ rolled through as if he had it anticipated. Look at this. Shoulders down, is it enough? No. What a unique pin attempt. TJP staying close. Rohit able to drop down in reverse. TJP hangs on. Rohit charges. And earlier we were talking about how well versed TJP is in a multitude of styles, and I asked the question what Rohit would need to do to change things around. Perhaps this is it, bring a bit of grit to the fight? Yeah, I mean, a bit of grit, a bit of different offense, a bit of just getting down and dirty. I mean, right there, he just kicked him in the shin. TJ Ducks, schoolboy for momentum. TJ up filling in the space, and Rohit was there for the counter. Is it enough, too? Ooh, that was close. Wow. Now, these are the little things to look for when you have, you know, part of the tournament. You have greatness in the ring. You have to start to look for the little things that are going to separate them from their opponents. Absolutely. Let's not underestimate the pressure on the shoulder blade as well and the clavicle, the entire AC joint. And TJP is well aware. Shots now to the midsection. Create space. TJ again using his head as an extension, a weapon. TJP off the ropes from momentum. Oh my gosh. Just what a roaring elbow. How about that is from TJP to come back from a defensive position. We thought he was out. Using the ropes for momentum, the springboard. TJP is up, Rohit is in, and here we go. Beautifully done there, Rana off of the top. Big boot pushes back, it's a push kick. In with the knee is TJP, controlling the head now. Up and around, Tornado DDT. Is this enough? TJ tries, no! I was gonna say, TJ tries to turn his body in midair, but TJ had to fix it, because Rohit was not there, and now Rohit Raju resumes the beating. Did you see how Rohit just shifted gears right there? And Cannonball Ooh. in the corner! Double stop, Ooh. miss, catches boots of his own. Did TJP, with an ironic counter, if you will. Did TJ just bait Rohit in? Bang, and that no. he's going for his version of, of a go to sleep, kind of like a, as I lay me down to sleep. Where's, where's, where's TJ, TJ want to... Rohit, at, Rohit has seen this episode before. Yes, TJ disappeared we all the have. Ring. TJ goes in, comes out as manic. Or perhaps... What the hell? Mahabale Shira emerges like Yama from the underworld. All of a sudden, the scales have seemingly tipped in favor of Rohit Raju. Cover! Two! He got him! He just beat the exhibition champion! Here is your winner, Rohit Raju! If you know your Impact Wrestling history, you'll know that these two were aligned for quite some time. After a hiatus back to his native India, Mahabale Shira has returned, and I cannot think of a better time. This has to be who Rohit was talking to. Without a doubt, that's who Rohit was talking to. And the plan was in, the fix was in. Rohit outthought the Estevez champion TJP there. Wow, we talked about what is needed for Rohit to return to glory. You can see it right there, what it's all about. Rohit is letting TJP know, I'm coming for this, partner. I'm coming for this. Right now in Impact Wrestling, no one. Thank you.